What is going on, everybody? What is happening? What are we doing? What are we reviewing? I'm in ecstasy. By Adori Liquid. Don's got a new one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, everybody. Do you guys know how excited I was about this? Every time Don releases a new flavor, it's like it's like Christmas and the Fourth of July and every holiday all put together. It's like getting time off of work. It's amazing when Don releases a new liquid. Uh, so I was lucky enough to get this one a little early, not 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 terribly early. Don likes to Don likes to uh, keep her flavors to herself until she until she feels that they're just about ready. Um, then she sent them out to several beta testers. I happen to be one of the lucky ones. I wasn't going to review an empty bottle though, <laughs> so I waited until I got the I waited until I got the official packaging in. There it is, the Dory Liquid at Lemon Ecstasy. Got all your warnings. Just nice plain packaging, just lovely, just loveliness. Uh, and that's not the one. There it is. The Lemon Ecstasy Concentrate is also out. You can see down there. Focus you. Just quit trying to quit trying to focus on my face. There you go. Twenty five percent mix. So it's pretty, you know, pretty substantial, pretty substantial mix on that. It'll make you. This will make you one twenty. <clears throat> it is shake and vape. It is shake and vape. It does develop some smoothness and a little bit of mouthfeel over about three days. But for the most part, even the concentrate right away, just boom, ready to go. Tastes tastes exactly like this. You're just getting. You're just not getting quite quite the, the same mouthfeel that it develops over a couple days. So this is one of the the quicker e-liquids that she has available for you know with the steep time as far as steep time goes. It's not two weeks or anything. You can shake the sucker up and just go. But this is the pre-bought, the pre-bought Adori Liquid Lemon Ecstasy. Amazing, amazing flavor. I never really expected Dawn would do a lemon flavor. I don't, I don't feel that lemons, lemon, I don't think is in Dawn's wheelhouse much. Um, she puts lemon notes in things. Uh, I know for a fact she doesn't like strawberries. Lemon, lemon is kind of, you know, kind of dicey, kind of dicey ground for her, I think. But she absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. So. You may be asking yourself, Fresh, what's the flavor profile? So it's lemon pudding uh, and cream over a little bit of a bakery note. <coughs> the bakery note that I get out of it, everybody seems to have a different opinion about what the... Pay attention to me, camera. There we go. Everybody seems to have a different opinion kind of what the bakery note is. I think it's, I think it's kind of a spongy cake. When I first tried this, I thought that Dawn was going after a Twinkie flavor, which surprised me. It's like, why would Don do a Twinkie flavor? But it, I was getting that spongy cake. And the lower that you vape this, the more that, the, the lower wattage, the lower temperature that you vape this, the more that note that you're going to get, the spongy, the spongy cakey note. I think it's awesome. I think it's a, I think it's a great bakery note and it's a great choice to go along with the lemon and the cream and the pudding and, oh, it's so good. So it's, yeah, so here's a, here's how I picture it in my brain, the actual food. So you take yourself, you got yourself a nice, nice spongy vanilla e cake. You get yourself some lemon pudding and you put that over the top and then you just heap some whipped cream over the top of it. Just heap some whipped cream on the top of that sucker. That's what I get. That's what I get out of this. Like I said, initially I, I was getting kind of Twinkie and I was getting a whole lot of the Twinkie filling out of it. So if you're a fan of the Twinkie filling, you're going to love this flavor. going to absolutely love it. So this is kind of a, it is kind of a, a distant related cousin to the uh, blueberry something and the banana bondage. Uh, very, very distantly related but there there's there are some similar some similarities if you like dawn's pudding vapes those are her pudding vapes the blueberry something the banana bondage and now the lemon ecstasy you're absolutely going to love this um but it does have kind of a lemon meringue pie type type flavor to it um and if you're a fan of lemon meringue pie you're going to love this because you do get that you do get that nice juicy lemon like that lemon curd type flavor, that creamy lemon type flavor, you get that out of this, and it works incredibly well. Just the way that just the way that it's all mixed up, and as Dawn always does, and so the higher you push your wattage, kind of kind of similar to the blueberry, and similar to the to the banana, the more fruit you're gonna get. Uh, the creaminess kind of stays throughout, but the lower your the lower your wattage, the more you're going to pick up those bakery notes. So you can kind of you know kind of pick and choose where you where you like this vape the best. And myself, 
I got it on the, the Wasp Nano. What do I got it at? Uh, 55.2 watts because I do like that spongy cake note that's in here. Love it. And so vaping this at a, it's a 0.26 with the 0.26 at 55 watts, I do pick up that that sponge cakey note that I that I really 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 dig out of this. It's such a it's such a good lemon vape. Uh, you guys, if you even if you don't like lemon vapes, you're probably going to wind up digging this just because everything is so well done. The creaminess, the creaminess on it's unbelievable. The mouthfeel that you get, you get that nice smooth uh, that m nice smooth almost custardy mouthfeel out of it. It's so it's so well put together, just like Dawn, all of Dawn's liquids. The you know, when she works on something and she gets it done, she gets that recipe done and she sends it out to folks to try. Oh, uh, it's it's just amazing, amazing to, to walk home and find a package from a door sitting in your sitting in your mailbox. So I hope I hope everybody's willing to give this a try. But let's kind of let's kind of go through the vape. So, initially you get that, you get a little bit of the sweet lemon, you mostly get that sponge cakey note, you get your bakery note on your inhale, and you definitely get the creaminess, like I said, the creaminess is throughout the vape. Really doesn't matter where you put the temperature or wattage, but you get that creaminess and you get a hint of the lemon, and then as you start exhaling, the creaminess continues, the bakery kind of slips to the back end of the vape, and you, and you get a really, a really lovely sweet lemon flavor. And like I said, this isn't like lemon jelly. This isn't like, um, like a lemon candy, like a lemon head. She hasn't gone full lemon head on us. What you get is that that juicy lemon. You get that juicy lemon curd flavor, which is you know kind of the lemon filling in the lemon meringue pie. Oh, it's so good, so good. And then just that creaminess throughout. You're getting whipped cream. You're getting meringue. You're getting pudding. And it's just one big one big mess of flavors, but it's also it's all so delicious, and it's uh, uh. my advice to everybody that gets this: what do what I did, get yourself a 120. That'll hold you. That'll hold you for the three days that you're gonna, that's going to take for your next bottle of concentrate to to steep out. So concentrates concentrates which is like i said it makes you 120 mils uh is going to be 17 bucks uh standard door prices apply 12.99 for a 30 mil and then 35 for the 120 just buy the 120 just buy the 120 anything anything less you're just going to be disappointed with yourself you're just going to be upset with yourself that you didn't spend the extra money and just buy the 120 it's it's honestly one of the best lemon vapes that that I've tried. Uh, I've tried the Dinner Lady Lemon Tart. The Dinner Lady Lemon Tart is, is an outstanding liquid. It's got it's got some nice biscuit notes in there. The bakery it's it's kind of a separate. It's kind of a different thing completely. But the, they do share they do share that lemon curdy type flavor, which works really well. It works really well in this type of vape. Anytime you're doing a bakery, if you can figure out a good lemon curd to try and throw in, which is generally uh, kind of a Bavarian cream and uh, what else could you do? Some whipped cream, some Bavarian cream, some whipped cream. Um, Vienna cream would work for it. Catalan cream would probably work for it. Those are not, the Catalan cream and the Vienna cream are not shaken vapable flavors. The Bavarian cream and the whipped cream are kind of shaken vapable, but the Bavarian cream still needs a little time to really, to really kind of muscle itself up. That's not what Don did. That's not what Don did at all. There's a, there's a whipped cream note in here. There's definitely, there's definitely some whipped cream. Uh, in the in the vape, which works, you know, it's put a little whipped cream on top of your on top of your lemon meringue pie. That doesn't hurt anything. That doesn't hurt anything at all. That juicy sweet lemon, though, it's a tough one to pull off. Um, generally, you wind up trying like lemon meringue pies, which is pro which is probably the direction that Don went. Probably a lemon meringue pie, and then mixed in. Uh, probably layered in the lemon to get the to get the juiciness note up rather than just kind of being a sweet lemon but a lot of times what you wind up doing is going straight lemon candy like a lemon head and that's not what Don did here it's not a, it's not a lemon head flavor at all that lent that sweet that sweet kind of sour lemony flavor that's not that's not at all what this is this is kind of a, like I said a lemon curd a lemon meringue pie which is more in tune with the 
dinner lady lemon tart type lemon. It's what it's it's closer to, it's closer to that. Um, if you've had a good lemon meringue pie vape, uh, Limonzilla by Coil Vapes, he makes it. That's a that's a hell of a lemon meringue pie vape. This is it's. They're all kind of they're all kind of once again in the same family, but they're distantly related cousins, or even further distant re, distantly related than the Adores, than the uh, Adore family is. Uh, they may have the same last name, but they're not. You know, they're you know they're they're a ways apart, a ways apart on that family tree. So it's it's amazing. This liquid is amazing, amazing. And one thing that you'll really notice is there is no as sweet as this liquid is because it's 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 definitely one of the sweeter Adore liquids I've tried. Uh, and she doesn't use sweeteners at all just because she doesn't want you to going to gunk your coils up. This burns clean, burns clean. It doesn't mess your cotton up, doesn't mess your coils up. It's just it's just straight goodness all the way through. I've noticed that. You know, I haven't had to burn my co my coils off. I haven't had to replace cotton. You know, I've been doing, I've been on this for pretty much, pretty much three days straight. I've been on the lemon cut. I've been on this. Uh, aside from DIYing, I've been on the lemon ecstasy for for about three days, and I haven't had a hint of a hint of uh, a hint of the cotton going bad on me. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, she's burning clean. She's burning clean. This is one of the que the cleaner e-liquids that you're going to run across. Big fan, big fan of the lemon ecstasy. This is moved. This is this one's moved up in that adore favorite list. Right now, my favorite, oh, an adore favorite list. Probably, probably another strawberry vape is going to be up top. The elite, another strawberry vape, followed by uh, hazy custard, hazy custard, and and. Hazy Custard and another strawberry are going to be really close together. And then we'll do, and then I'll go Pudding Pounder and Banana Bondage tied at two. And then Blueberry Something will be right below that. But this is going to, this is going to move up ahead of Blueberry Something. Um, by the time that I, I get a real, a real, you know, a real in-depth, in-my-heart feeling about this e-liquid, which will probably be at the bottom of about 300 mils of it. I'll probably say it's probably it's it's probably ahead of banana bondage. I think that I think it's probably a better liquid than like banana bondage or pudding pounder to me. This just hits this hits all the right lemon notes. I love a good lemon vape. A good lemon vape is is a rare thing to find that doesn't have that whole lemon heady candy flavor. And that's the reason I like Limonzilla so much from Coil Vapes. It's just it's a good lemon vape. And they're 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 tough to do. And when you find one, you hold on to it. You hold on to it hard with your right just just hold it close to your chest move it over your heart a little bit so that your heart knows the lemons there it's good it's so good and like i said i think this will probably wind up being ahead of banana bondage on my favorite list as far as a door goes and and pudding pounder as much as i love those e-liquids and i love those e-liquids to death um this will probably this will probably sneak on up there i don't know if it'll pass hazy custard or another strawberry vape because those are two of my all-time favorite vapes. Period. No if ands or buts. This could do it. This could. This could. This. I don't think it's going to sneak up there. It's got the. It's got. It's got possibilities though. It's got the possibility of sneaking up there. Go get you some. It's delicious. AdoriLiquid.com. Dawn is amazing. She does amazing things. Everybody, be beautiful to each other. Educate. Advocate. Be good for this community. Like Dawn from Adori Liquid. I'll see you on that next video. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one, everybody.